Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Azure SQL Database Serverless. So let's get into the video. When we are planning to migrate uh, things like uh, your virtual machines or your databases onto Azure, so there are different methods they have uh, of their offering and there are different tools even available. So the most uh, you can say the most simpler way of actually mi migrating anything on Azure is the lift and shift method you can say and that lift and shift method is going to migrate all your VMs you can say so they are saying most infrastructure as a service migration are what is known as lift and shift to Azure where the on-prem architecture is recreated in Azure and workloads and databases are migrated so when we are considering this lift and shift method that is the easiest way we can you can say we can consider on azure i have some on-prem vms available on our servers let's say and there are lots of hundreds of databases are there in list and we need to simply migrate those databases onto a virtual machine on azure so obviously we are not going to copy the virtual machine we have the existing one we'll prepare similar kind of a virtual machine on azure platform and we will simply migrate the databases by by using different methods like uh, you can even deploy those databases on different servers like on azure you can also uh, take backups of all the databases and then simply restore it on azure virtual machines that could be a method we can use okay now there is one tool named as azure migrate tool that can automate this process and it allows you to automatically migrate all your workloads and data to the VMs running in Azure. And one of the tool, one more tool I can name over here is Migration Assistant. So that Migration Assistant is specifically built for databases. In that same way, we have Data Warehouse Migration Assistant. One is Database Migration Assistant, another one is Data Warehouse Migration Assistant. Uh, nowadays, we are not using it uh, in that manner, but earlier, when this azure was in you can say uh, in the initial phase so what happened the features and uh, uh, you can say the compatibility things are not the same on on-prem and azure so if you are using some objects like xml indexes that are not applicable some spatial type of data uh, like a geographical one or maybe uh, some kind of uh, uh, location related or uh, gps level data that are not in memory tables are not supported on azure so these objects needs to be excluded but how you will assess or how you will identify whether these objects are uh, should be excluded from the database migration and these tables or these objects of sql server databases can be moved easily onto azure so that migration assistant tool is capable of performing an assessment and will give you an information that these objects needs to be uh, excluded from the migration so that you can easily migrate the other objects onto cloud. But now most of the features are available on cloud. So migration becomes very easy. You don't need any comparison in that case. You can directly migrate. So this migration tool will discover of your env environment and can optionally execute a migration of your database as well. Okay, not the migration assistant, this migration tool I'm talking about. Migration assistant will come in the next slide. So this is one of the method of simply migrating the uh, data onto Azure migration tool that is Azure migrate tool. So this is what I was talking about database migration assistant, the most common and most simplest tool that Microsoft offered initially uh, when uh, organizations start uh, planning their migration. When I say planning, because here you can even plan out when you're migrating your uh, databases on cloud. You can plan which database is uh, the most compatible one. If it is not compatible, what features or what uh, uh, object needs to be excluded, that even can uh, call out uh, from this uh, database migration system. Okay. It can also migrate your databases either to a VM or to a SQL database or to a managed system. So that is capable of pushing your data onto any of those Azure SQL database instance. When I say Azure SQL only, it can have a VM based database, it can have a, an Azure SQL database, or it can have a managed instance based data. So it is capable of migrating anywhere you can see from on. -prem. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And 
if you have any doubts or if you feel that you are lagging behind then we have something really special for you we have our free class on microsoft azure database administrator certification that is dp300 and if you want to enroll for the same then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash dp3002 you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and in this free course you'll be learning about why learn azure sql databases on cloud from microsoft roles in data on cloud azure certification path for dbas and data professionals and what not so all you have to do is just select an event date according to your availability add your full name your email address Add your phone number and click on yes, save my seats now. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of free link. You just have to select this link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.